Hey there everybody, it's Steve and uh, doing a quick video to answer, well, to at least show, saw this on Chief Talk, Veritas here, asking about how to create this L-shaped, he posted this he posted this PDF, how to create this L-shaped pony wall and put a door in here, what's the easiest way? And uh, I thought I'd answer that question. Uh, it's really pretty simple. Um, you have to have a pony wall, and um, I have a created this pony wall, as you can see right here. It's got tile and glass. And if you draw this in and you open it up, you'll see it. And what that wall is, is the glass shower wall at the top, right out of the catalog, really, with a pony wall of a wall that I created, which is just a single layer wall using this sandstone tile as the only material sandstone tile and the reason you do that is that the entire wall now tops bottoms edges and everything will all be tile it makes it easy so um, I'm, I might dimension this here to 42 and um, one other thing you might want to do is when you look at this I have it defined now as upper wall and lower wall outline. So there's the outline of the lower wall with the upper wall. But you can look at it in different ways like upper wall and lower wall. And then you see the tile. And um, if you just do upper wall, the one of the problems with that is going to be when you go to push your cabinets against it, it won't, it'll go right against that. And it's too far. So you will want to do upper wall and lower wall outline or upper and lower wall or, or just lower wall. So for now, we're doing this upper wall and lower wall outline. Now, I don't know if you have that if you're not next 10, but that's one of the benefits of having the most current software. The other thing is to take a shower door and just stick it in here. And um, there's shower I think I created this shower door myself but chief makes shower doors I think there's a shower door in the default catalog and if we take a look at this um, you'll see it's coming together and look at it in vector view and you'll be able to see let's paint this all the same glass tempered now this goes to the ceiling and the door doesn't so let's drag this down and I just grab that handle and hit the tab key I'm going to put in minus 12 to see where that goes. That looks good. And um, now let's put these cabinets up against this wall. And we'll take a look. And it's coming together pretty good. Now, you might have a glass panel right here. Uh, that's kind of, I think, this door is a 30-inch door. So well, how do you do that? Well, oops. That's, this isn't lined up just right. There you go. Uh, you have to break this wall. So if you break it, and say we break it right there, the next thing you're going to have to do is reverse the layers. And, otherwise, and this will keep these two from joining together. And then uh, we can make this an exact dimension, something like uh, oh, 30 inches, and make sure you have the right, and it pulls it back. So now we have a 30 inch wall, if we take a look. And then we open this wall, we have to change the height of floor to six. And there you go. You got your L-shaped pony wall. Uh, it's pretty simple. And um, if you want to cap these, uh, you can use the actual pony wall. It will allow you to put a wall cap on it. But it's just as easy to use a polyline solid and then you don't have to worry about having X10. So let's just drag a polyline solid out and say 33 by minus 6. Center it on this wall right here. Shove it back. And let's pull it back maybe minus 2 because I think I made it too long. And it's down here on the floor. I forgot to set the elevation, so open it up. And let's set the bottom to 42. And there you go. It's too tall. So open it again. And 
I think from floor might work. There you go. And then maybe we'll paint it the same granite color here. I know that looks real good. But uh, you know what I'm doing. You can just um, do what you want and drag this back just a little bit so it's not hanging over so far. And that looks pretty good. And the good thing about this using a door in a, in a wall, if you use a wall and a door, you can show the door open like that. And um, so um, I hope that helps. Uh, you can put use polyline solids and put trim along here as like support, uh, maybe a trim bar at the top or something, whatever you want to do change these materials however you want put a f shower floor in look at in the shower right now it's it's just a room and we want to take those moldings off so uh, it says use floor default delete and uh, there you go um, well I hope that helps and you want to put a sill down here just use the same method create a polyline solid set it in down there so I hope that helps. I would just use a pony wall, break it where necessary, set your door, your shower door in, and call it a day. And I hope that helps. Thanks. See y'all.